Today we're going to be talking about a new pen I found. This is an Ackerman fountain pen, uh, specifically designed to fit Nico G nibs right out of the box. They also sell ones that fit Zebra G nibs too, but I got the Nico one because well, guess who accidentally bought a box of Nico nibs thinking that they were the same as Zebra's, but they're totally different. And Zebra's seem to fit every damn fountain pen, but Nico's don't seem to fit any. Uh, they're just not as flexible. Um, so I don't know why I didn't think to look for this solution in the first place. This pen is brilliant. Uh, so first of all, why didn't I get a Jin Hao? Uh, the truth is, I don't like how Jin Hao's look. I don't want my grandpa's fountain pen because I'm not a collector. Uh, I'm an illustrator, so I want something that looks like a like a workhorse. Uh, like if a nuclear bomb went off and soldiers are investigating the site remains and they find this pen, I want them to be like, oh, oh, this is an artist pen. This is a professional illustrator stool. So question one, does this pen have flow issues? A uh, common issue with flex nibs on a fountain setup is that most feeders have difficulty trying to get the ink to flow properly through the nib. Uh, a lot of times you'll experience drying out, lines will skip, the pen will stop drawing altogether. And not this pen, it's almost the opposite. The ink just streams out like it's bleeding almost. In fact, make sure you're using quality smooth paper or you'll definitely start seeing feathering. The Ackerman feeder is very different than most fountain setups. It's pretty much a straight pipe, it drops ink instantly to the nib. Uh, this ensures that the nib will perform reliably the bad news is, you can't ever leave the pen facing downward. So if you put the cap back on it and stick it in your pocket tip down and walk around all day, the pen may completely fill the cap with ink and it would be an annoying mess when you open the cap again to draw. So just store the pen with the tip facing upward and you should be fine. Uh, the ink will sink back down into the cartridge tube. So this thing performs really well for illustration use. Um, beating myself up for not finding it sooner. This is definitely not for casual use. It's a waste of this pen if all you're going to do is sign checks or write notes. The way this pen delivers ink, the way it scratches paper, and how it varies the line quality, it's just so much fun to use. You literally itch to use the pen even if you're not sure what to draw. It's 25 bucks. You can buy it on Amazon. Um, links in the description. Comes with a Nico G nib already attached. Uh, and a refillable cartridge tube. The only thing you need to start drawing is to add ink. I'm using the good old Pilot Namiki here. So seriously, for an artist, this is a must-have pen. I'm pretty mad I didn't look this up years ago. I have so many fountain pens I hacked and butchered to try to get it to perform better and got a ton of dipping nibs. I hate dipping the pen back and forth. It's really disruptive. This is, this is it. This is the solution. It doesn't skip, it doesn't fork. And it's a G-nib, so you're able to draw hairline thin to super bold thick, all while maintaining this consistently rich dark tone of the ink. I absolutely recommend this pen. If you're into drawing with ink or you want to gear up for Inktober this year, this is the pen. I'll be honest, my modded pens perform pro level, but the feeders are conventional feeders that control and restrict the ink flow. They're not designed for dip pen nibs, so so once in a while, you have to run the tip in warm water or wipe the tip with a damp napkin to get the thing going again. This thing requires no prepping. You point the tip down for a second, see the ink drop into the chamber like a bullet, and that's it. It performs like a beast. And the cartridge is pretty large. I've drawn about 20 pages of doodles with this thing over the course of a week, and I'm only half empty. Uh, so there's an Ackerman that'll fit Nico nibs. There's one that'll fit Zebra nibs. The infamous Crow Quill nib uh, for comics, principal nibs, browse rose nibs. I'm really digging this company. The construction is very solid using pretty thick durable plastic unlike a lot of fountain pens at this price range. I have a $60 fountain pen that's made of pretty thin brittle plastic and the feeder tube cracked after I screwed the body back on too tight. Uh, you won't get any cracking from this pen. It feels like, it honestly feels like a PVC pipe. You could probably run over this with a car and nothing would happen. Solid five stars. Phenomenal pen for illustrators uh, at a great price.